guys, how are we doing? I hope everyone is okay and living the best life you can be today. It was so sunny here today, but it is so cold this evening. Winter really is coming and I'm excited because that means Christmas. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I know for some people it's too early for Christmas, but I love it so much. I love it. Right, what have I got for you today? Well, it's another haul video. We just went shopping today. It was my husband's, he has his injection today and he had his blood taken today. So as he really hates those things, it makes him really stressed for days on end before and stress makes him ill. <laughs> so I said, you can have a treat. What would you like for your treat? So first we went to go and get our free coffee, thanks to O2 Priority and Cafe Nero. Cheers, we love a freebie. And then we went for a quick look in the shops. And when we were in the shops, did he get a treat or did I get a treat? I think actually it was me who got the treat. Um, but we did get something that he's super excited about. So I thought I'd just show you guys what we got. Today we went shopping in Lidl. I went into Superdrug and I also went into, where did I go? Wilkinson's. <laughs> yeah, it's only been a few hours since I went shopping and I already can't remember. Before I get into all the goodies that I got, because some of them are quite interesting, I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, always ring that notification bell, because, you know, I upload in the middle of the night. And after you're done, share this video. It would be amazing. All right, let's get into the video. So apart from some chewing gum, which is not the most exciting present, this is what I got. Oh, it's a bit heavy. So it is a water pump thing, submersible water pump, and it is for your water butt. So we've got, with our bungalow, um, it came with a water butt that can hold like 200 litres of water, but of course there's no pressure in there and it's just sitting there and why not use the free water? Then it would be to use the water that we pay for, of course. and. Uh, we were looking this up the other day about what can we do to make ourselves be able to use it. And you need one of these things. You stuff it in your water butt and then you attach your hose pipe to it and this thing creates pressure and it pumps the water out and then you can use it like a normal hose tap. Hose tap? You know, hose attached to the tap. So this is my husband's present little gadget for him to do watering. He's in charge of the watering because we had freshly laid grass. So you've got to give it lots of love and lots of water. And he finds it really fun because he can make little patterns with the water. And um, as he has OCD, not as he has OCD, for his OCD, he enjoys making patterns and filling them in. Because everyone's OCD is different, you know, can't just say everyone has the same thing. But with his OCD, he likes to make patterns on the grass and fill it in with the water. And you can't interrupt him when he's watering the grass. <laughs> he's having way too much of a good time calming his brain so this was 24.99 i don't know if it works yet but the one we were looking at was about 60 or 70 pounds a hose look one so to be able to get this for 25 quid is a happy happy bargain and then the rest of the stuff was for me should we start with the beauty stuff yeah why not so first is this lovely new lipstick that is from Maybelline and it's one of their Superstay Matte Ink. This isn't the one, this is a different one. In Superdrug at the moment, they're doing buy one, get one half price. So I just had to get one. So this, this one here is, I don't know what it's called. So it's kind of like a tangerine ready orange color. Um, this one's called Dancer and I've already lost the one I'm wearing. I got this one because I thought that it would go with my cardigan kind of thing. Because I thought if I'm going to wear this quite a lot, it's my new sort of outdoor coatigan. I got it on sale from Tesco a few weeks ago. Um, and I wanted a lipstick to go with it because if I'm going to be wearing it a lot, it would be nice if it coordinated, you know? Yeah. So that is basically why I got that, and it was a perfect colour. I do really like these Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. They do really last, even if you have a drink or have something to eat. I find they only go a tiny bit. I've been wearing this now for... Since about 5 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, and I touched up a tiny bit here. Um, 
but that's it and since then I have eaten and I have drunk and it's all good. I do think they really last. <laughs> See there's a test. <laughs> And they smell quite nice of fruit. The only thing is that when you press your lips together, they always feel a bit tacky. Like I've had this on for hours, it still feels tacky. Even the thinnest layer feels tacky. And sometimes if you reapply, like if it goes a bit in the middle, when you re-layer it up, it tends to clump up a bit. So you need to make sure your lips are exfoliated, which I guess you should do anyway. And try and repaint only area it needs to be painting because otherwise you sort of end up with these clumpy bits that is more on this one uh, which is pioneer i always find that issue which looks like this because i think this is my fourth one now but i love that color it's just a really nice sort of cherry color um they all smell so nice but this one i did do a little weird pie i did go back over the um bit that wasn't faded and it has not clumped up so maybe this one is just something in the formula but yeah I like it and as for is it touch proof if you press that hard it's not touch proof if you kiss your husband or your partner or your wife or your whoever it will come off a bit it didn't come off me but it came off him it came off onto him so although it's supposed to be a dried down matte liquid lip it's not quite but it's pretty good I do like it and it does have a long lasting capability so I got two new lipsticks today I was using up a um, loved shop voucher that I was given by my sister and brother-in-law for my birthday back in April <laughs> so I've held on to it for a little while because I wanted to buy some stuff from Superdrug but there's a little issue with how they use the vouchers so if you have one you could only spend exactly what's on the voucher. So if it's like 15 pounds, you can't spend five and keep the rest, no. You have to spend the whole voucher, at least this is what I was told today. And if you want to spend 15 pounds and pay the rest on card, no, you can't do that. You have to pay the rest in cash and then leave the exact amount you have on the card on the card and then spend it that way. How crazy is that? And that's just not normal, is it? But they patiently worked it out with me in Superdrug today. So that was good, but still a bit frustrating. I also had my eyebrows done by one of their people. It was like 7 99 I think. Um, they had like an eyebrow waxing thinging booth. I can't really do threading, threading, that's it. I can't really do threading anymore because it involves holding my hands up and it's just too painful, but I had them waxed. So they're not my normal brows today because she said I can't re-pencil them in and she kind of wiped off what I had on. I think it was good and it seemed to be a good price. I also used my student discount card and didn't just get 20%, I seemed to get 40% off everything today. So if you have a student card, an NUS card or something like that, I would suggest going in there and having a look because I got some bargains. Um, I also picked up another Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil because I like it and my brow pencil just ran out today. I got this to try, Tattoo Brow Lasting Colour Pomade by Maybelline. This comes with, just like that, and it comes with a little spoolie on one end and a brush on the other, an angled brush with these pomades. So let's just see the colour looks like that. I'm hoping it's dark enough and not like the one I got in my pit box. Oh yeah, look, that's nice dark. Nice dark rich colour and it's kind of the cooler dark rather than the um, chocolatey brown. Yes, that is definitely up my street. Wow, that looks so much darker than that side. But it's quite strong so I would be careful because I wiped off quite a lot on my hand already and there's still enough to make my eyebrow look twice as strong as that one, so. Okay, so what turned started out as a little bit has kind of gone a bit out of control. And this is my face for the rest of the video, so that is a little bit worrying. But you get the idea. This stuff is quite strong, so I would be careful if I were you. And brush it through, use the spool to blend. Yeah, that does look better actually. Hopefully on camera as well. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have eyebrows. That's all I can say. 
I could spend hours doing my eyebrows, honestly. I'm never satisfied with them. Right. So, yeah, those are the things that I got. Um, Maybelline all the way today. And then they had an offer. This you could get for free if you bought three skincare products. And it is, um, what are they called? Superdrug products. Vitamin E skincare. Let me, let me just take them out of this little pouch. I don't know how much they're worth, but... This is Vitamin E Skincare Gentle Oatmeal Exfoliator, rich in vitamin E, high in antioxidants, defends the skin against environmental damage for normal to dry skin. So, natural exfoliator is good. Oatmeal is supposed to be really good for your skin. You put this on after you've cleansed. So, it's a separate exfoliator, not a cleanser. And they recommend using its other vitamin E products. Just put a little bit on so this kind of looks like that just looks like it's got little speckles oh you can feel it it's got bigger lumps than i thought if you can see there's lumps somewhere lumps of oatmeal pardon me i don't know why i keep burping lumps of oatmeal it smells nice it smells actually like suntan lotion but then it doesn't smell like anything that was weird i've got a hit of suntan lotion then i've got nothing you also get this which is vitamin E skincare and it's an all over body cream with 12 hour moisturization, rich in natural vitamin E, high in antioxidants, also defends the skin against environmental damage, also for dry, uh, normal to dry skin. And let's just have a little sniff, I'm sure it's pretty much the same. Yes, a slight hint of suntan lotion and then it just smells like moisturizer, just sinks into the skin nicely. I love moisturizer use it so much all the time so i am gonna enjoy this and also my normal moisturizer i've run out of and i forgot to pick some up today so this is going to come in handy because that's the nice consistency that i like <coughs> lastly you get this to wash your face with this is just a little sponge it's what kind of texture is it that kind of texture sponge anyway it's that and this little pouch has got the um, resealable thing at the top. You know what I mean? Like you get in food packaging so you can keep it safe. So that's nice because you can use that for whatever. And also you get this at the bottom, 50 pence off your next purchase of vitamin E skincare. So very nice. And they are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. The sponge is made of 100% cellulose. So to get that, I had to get some skincare. And you may have seen this on a TV advert. I certainly have. It's the new Garnier Glow Shot Fresh Tissue. Fresh. Sorry. Fresh Mix Tissue. I can't speak. Fresh Mix Tissue Mask. <laughs> so the idea is the mask is up here at the top, and then you fold this into like three. Um, like sideways, I think it is. It's got lines and stuff marked on the packet. Mix in what they say is a full bottle of serum into the mask and then put it on your face so it's as fresh as fresh can get. I'm not sure what the difference is of mixing yourself compared to having it already soaked in for X amount of time, but hey, it's their new gimmick or it does make a real difference. I don't know. It brightens and evens the complexion and freshly mixed by you. So I'm going to be definitely trying this out. And you know me, I love to do a mask review video, so I'm sure you'll be seeing that sometime soon. Also, along with it comes these new Moisture Bomb eye tissue masks. And this one is like an under eye one, as you can see there. And it's got orange juice and hyaluronic acid. That one got orange juice as well? With natural origin vitamin C, so kind of, yeah. Uh, visibly reduces eye bags and brightens eye contours and it has a minus four degree skin cooling effect. Now the lady who sold this to me said that she's tried it and she really likes it, she thinks it's worked and she's heard good feedback as well. So I'm desperate to try it, you know I hate these old eye bag bags. Um, so I am hoping that it's going to give me a dramatic effect. Who knows? Also they have this one and when I was at the till she said oh no don't try the um coconut one it was uncomfortable it burns i don't know if that's talking about this or she's talking about something else because this had already gone in the bag when she said this uh, 
but this is enriched with coconut water and hyaluronic acid. It visibly reduces fine lines, it replumps eye contours, and it has a skin cooling effect. So this is the other mask that they have right now. And this one goes around your eyes. So, yeah. I thought that would be quite a nice one, maybe for a night time, and then maybe this for the day, if I want to set myself up to look really well. Don't worry, I'll be letting you know exactly how these are, if you should spend your money on them. Um, what else do I have? I think that was it from the beauty perspective. That was enough for me. Um, yeah, that was good. So next we went into Wilkinson's and we got all the exciting things, batteries. You can't do without batteries. I just bought from uh, B&Q. It's like a light that you press. What, one sec. But I now can't find it, which isn't going to be great, is it? So what is the point of a light I can't use? Anyway, it's a round circular, circular light and it's for cupboards that are dark. And you can just put some batteries in it and you press it and the light comes in. So I was going to put it in our airing cupboard so that I could see into the corner because there's no light in there. That was the plan, so I needed batteries. And now I've lost the light. Oh dear. What can you do with me, eh? We also bought a bunch of these hooks and I would really like to know if anyone has used them and if you think they work or they don't work. They're these ones that you can hang them to the wall and it doesn't damage the paintwork and you can take them off and move them around as much as you like. Um, these hold up to 5.4 kilos. So we've got one of these for a little hand towel because the only place for our towel at the moment is on the opposite, opposite side of the bathroom. So you wash your hands here and then you walk a couple of steps over there, dripping your hands everywhere. And that's not gonna happen. We want to put this on the wall, but we were a bit worried to screw it in because we think all the um, pipe works behind there. So we thought, hmm, maybe we should use something else. So we've got some of these. I actually got these ones with hooks because it has these little holes in the back. This is sort of our theme, you know, this beachy lined wood stuff. So maybe the hooks will go in, but if not, we'll use these type of ones. So they say that they really work. Has anyone used them? Have you taken things off the wall and it's not damaged your wall? Yeah, I'd like to know. And they had some Wilkinson ones, but this is one of those times where I was like, do I trust the cheap ones or should I go with the branded ones? Anyone ever use the Wilkinson brand ones? Interested to find out. So that is that. And we've also got this. Actually, I think I got this one in Tesco. Um, and it's for hanging stuff. So what we're gonna do is put this on the wall and put our brush for cleaning the kitchen in here. And it will hold it in like that, like it's holding my finger. And then it won't fall on the floor all the time. And how much better will that be? and it will stay in its place, everything in its place. You know, that's my theme for this new house. So yeah, that is what that is all about. And we got a bunch of them. Also in Wilkinson, I got this. This is kind of a tester one, because they had a bunch. I think they had like a gray one, a purple one, um, a green one, and a black one. And it's supposed to hook round this bit, hooks round your like pipe or guttering. And then this holds a pot up, so you could have a plant pot. So especially if you had a small space, you could stack them up and down, like put herbs in them, put flowers in them. And I just thought it looked quite nice. This is the demonstration in the picture. This one's £2.50. What was that? Peony bunch. Oh, I got a little bunch of flowers. Because now, since my IKEA trip, I'm really into my dried flowers. They are so easy to maintain. You just put them there and occasionally dust the leaves. At my, like, first waitressing job, in P at Pizza Express. What's her name? Louise. I had this lady called Louise and I used to think she was so annoying at first because she was like, you've always got to polish the leaves every Sunday, you've got to do all this cleaning, you've got to do it properly. But actually, she was right. She did a really good job and made sure that everything was actually done properly and instilled in me the idea of actually doing everything properly and the, it's there for a reason and to do stuff. So I will be polishing my leaves, Louise, wherever you are these days. And yeah, yeah, I accidentally broke this vase a little bit, but look, the flower leaf hides it. And I thought this just looked perfect in here. It's a little bunch for five pounds. And then this will stay perfectly on the windowsill and make my life easy. 
We've also got some weed stuff for the lawn to try and zap those pesky weeds. And they're growing, we've got like an area that's got stones all over it to try and stop weeds. They're growing through the stones. So yeah, they're gonna die. Those weeds gonna die. You know when they're just a bit too small and you pull them out and it just pulls the head off but not the root and it just carries on growing? Or you have to wait for it to grow big enough. Um, my aunt-in-law did suggest salt water, just salt water, which may also try. Yeah, we just thought, let's get that zapper, because it looks like fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was interesting, and maybe you found some of these items useful, or at least some items to avoid. And until you see me next time, I hope you live everyone well and take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.